three, how to clock the paint. If you're a big guy, you have to know how to make yourself useful on offense, especially when you don't have the ball. So basically what you want to do... What's that random Asian kid moving away for? Uh, he's he's kind of acting as my like defender. Okay. But like, say the ball's on the outside, you want to do everything you can to the paint to make sure that like you're just a distraction. So you kind of like run around and like go the other side. And like if you throw them off, chances are your teammates will score since you probably don't know how to shoot the ball properly. He so, looks like Jet Li. So pretty much, and then say like as a defender, you can kind of get in his way, you know, like set, set picks and stuff. And then if you do happen to get the ball, you know, like you have to turn around, you have to be able to have, have like a nice like, you know, Kareem uh, hook shot. So like left hand, right hand, fake there, and just finish. Basically as a big guy, you want to be able to like know your role. Like you're not, you're not trying to, you know, dunk, because chances are you're not athletic either like me. What you have to do basically is just make yourself useful on the floor. Whether that means, you know, setting picks, posting up, or just do something. But always key is always remain active and stay in the paint as long as possible. Nobody will call three seconds and, like, you know, pick up basketball. This is in the NBA. So what, basically, your role is down here. You're not trying to take three-pointers, even though, you know, I'm like a 50% three-point shooter. You have to stay in the paint. And, like, climbing the paint is a very valuable skill that you have to learn.